Hi guys, Tracy Rose from World Online Games here with you today. There is a lot to get through, so you will have to bear with me. Oh, I know, I know, a little bit of a hiatus, but my son hurt himself, so unfortunately I had to take a little bit of a break. He managed to, um, like, really cut himself at like a huge gash in his um his head uh, don't worry it was not one of my younger ones it was actually my oldest my soon-to-be 21 year old he, he was like playing ping pong with his friends in a garage and the garage door was not all the way up and so he was like jumping and he literally like um jumped right into the metal portion of the garage door and four staples and stitches later ow and a severe concussion but he is recovering so but that's why i've not been with you guys so but i am back and we have a lot to get through so let's get going so we will start with um talking about exclusives so as you guys know there were there are quite a few exclusives coming out um for the first um there's a loungefly.com exclusive there's grotto treasures modern pinup um oh and pink all the mode everyone's really looking forward to that one i know i personally really hope to get it um actually i'm hoping to get two don't worry I'm, I'm not being greedy but i'm hoping to get um an extra so that i can you know make a trade for something i really want um so let's have uh, a look at some pictures from the reveal so we will start with, oh, and LA Style Rush, LA Style Rush. Okay, so we're gonna start with um, LA Style Rush. They announced they are doing Lucifer um, from Cinderella. So, um, and it's funny, cause I actually was thinking about doing a Lucifer bag. They beat me to it. So here we go. Here is the um, preliminary uh, live image. So um, it looks pretty good. I mean, I'm excited. Um, <clears throat> uh, it looks really good. It has side pockets, so I'm extremely happy uh, about that. So, yeah, so looks good. Then, um, uh, yes, pink all mode. The strawberry Sunday. Yes, looks good. Looks good. Definitely want that one. Um, and it's supposed to have a um, Mickey Mouse uh cherry so yeah um and then of course the much anticipated dopey bag and wallet coming out on the first now that one's gonna be um on the first like the the more the day of versus the ones that are gonna hit um you know at midnight the night before and then la style rushes at two o'clock on the day of and then <clears throat> Grotto Treasure, they're doing a, uh, you know, a Little Mermaid. Looking forward to that. Not There's not really enough of the, like, Little Mermaid scene bags. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, and then Modern Pimp is doing the um, villain uh, chibi print. So... Um, I'll probably get it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Chibi, but um, this one looks different. It says, no place for fairy tales. Uh, fairy spelled F-A-I-R-Y. Um, but, you know, I like anything with Maleficent on it. So, you know, we'll see. Looks good. So that is our exclusives that are coming up for the first. Um, and, you know, a lot of good bags coming up for um, the coming month. Uh, I know that I am looking forward uh, to several, uh, personally. Um, I know some are looking forward to the Jurassic Park. Um, it's going to be a pot bag, but I think it's going to look really cool because it's going to have the doors that open. So, I mean, I'm excited for that. Um, I know my son is excited for that. So, um, that'll be a good one. It'll be a good one. So, like I said, there's a lot of really good bags coming up for the, you know, this coming month's release and um i cannot wait uh you know that the months that we have coming up are always really good you know we have summer bags 
uh, and they'll be leading into um, the fall for our Halloween and Christmas, uh, you know, to the winter. And you just cannot go wrong with any of those bags. And I'm sure everyone's excited to know that they will be doing the um, the fall bags a little sooner so that everyone will have them before Halloween. So yay, good stuff, good stuff. Um, so yeah. So let's move on. Um, okay, so uh, I have our first bag, which is, this was uh, exclusive to loungefly.com. Um, it is the Winnie the Pooh um, artist bag, and I really like it. Um, it is very elegant. The lines are very clean and beautiful. And to be honest, I love them. I really love the colors they chose uh, because it's not uh, an ugly brown, it just isn't. It's it's very much a silky caramel color. And I do love burgundy. And I love the feel of uh, the edging because it's not um, the same as the, you know, the vegan leather down here. It's almost like a micro suede, but not quite. Um, and I love that they picked the gold and you have the white in with the, um, the zipper. So there's just like a lot of color contrast. Uh, and of course they went with the gold hardware and I, I like I said I think that it has that lovely color pop uh, since the lines um, are white and then of course uh, if you look very closely you can also see that there's other outlining of poo but it's in the burgundy so it's a very nice contrast um, I do uh, absolutely love that and then of course it has side pockets which you know makes me very happy um, and it's not just another, um, you know, cosplay uh, poo bag. So it's it's nice. It's it's very different from the other poo bags that have come out um, in the last year. So I think that that's a nice change. And the print is all the way around. And if you look on the bottom, again, it has this uh, almost micro suede uh, on the bottom. And it's a nice dark color, so it's not going to get um, dirty. Uh, it's just very nice. I like it. And then same color straps. It's very pretty. And let's have a look at the lining. Like I said, it's just very different from all the other bags that we've got for poo. It's very different. Very artsy fartsy. Oh, it's the bees. So cute. Honestly, um, if I were to describe uh, the bag, I would say it's a very grown up bag. So by comparison to some of the other bags that have come out, uh, this is more of an adult bag. So, if uh, ladies, if you were looking for something that was more adult, um, this is definitely a bag for you. In fact, when I look at the bag, um, it to me is more reminiscent of like a, a coach bag or like a Kate Spade type bag. Definitely um, in that the way the design is, um, and, and definitely the way the feel of it. So, I, I really like this one. It's very uh, different and very unique by comparison uh, to what some some women may refer to uh, as more childish uh, lounge fly character bags. So um, this definitely gets an A for me. And again, this was from uh, an exclusive from loungefly.com. Winnie the Pooh. You know how much I love it. Okay, so this one I haven't even taken out of the plastic. It just came the other day. Um, and so, you know, you see people in a bag, it's, you know, like first, um, they call it scene in the wild. People start frenzying and they start panicking because they're afraid uh, it's not going to come online. And so they start, you know, shopping on Mercari or on eBay because uh, they can't wait. They're not patient. Um, and I've done that. I'm, I've been very guilty of that in the past. But I, I've learned my lesson. I was very patient and I waited um, I, I even actually waited for an influencer who I, I follow, um, Jay Loves Loungefly, uh, on Instagram until she posted the link for it to be in stock online. So this is from Box Lunch and I got it on boxlunch.com and it came so fast like lightning. I think it's like two days tops. And this is the, um, Lady and the Tramp. So the only thing that I'm not terribly fond of, and it's not, um, and it's not really a criticism. Um, I've just never been a big fan of the flap pocket, and I'm sure you can tell why. 
See, I'm struggling with the magnetic um, class because they do over time uh, do become demagnetized. Um, and because it doesn't have a backup zipper, my stuff's gonna fall out eventually. Um, and then of course it, it is gonna stick out and it's gonna flap because it's a flat pocket. Um, so I would have liked if this was a zipper pocket or at least had a backup zipper under the flap so that I would always know my belongings are safe. But I do absolutely love the design of this bag. And I am so happy that it has side pockets because I love the side pocket. Um, I always need the side pocket because you know, you, a girl needs her storage. It's the fashion and function. I just, I love it, need it. Um, and I know some people are really concerned about the cream. Um, and I know I've iterated this in so many videos, you know, there's so many protectants that uh, are made and I always, uh, say, you know, Scotchgard, or if you are not a fan of Scotchgard, there is a product that you can purchase at any coach store, um, or, um, like the Louis Vuitton store. And the reason I recommend these stores in particular is because they are made for high-end leather bags. And if it is made for a high-end leather bag, it is perfect for this bag also. And it will protect it against, uh, you know, damage, uh, water, uh, and all of those things. So uh, if you're concerned about the cream, and actually I recommend this for all the bags, period, because I want to protect mine um, so that they can last me for an eternity or as long as possible, um, go to the coach store or the Louis Vuitton store or any high-end bag store near you and ask for the protectant, the weather protectant, um, and, and spray your bags because it will protect them. That's what it's made for. So back to the bag. So of course it has the beautiful print because this is a lovely image. Um, and I think they did a really good job because it's very detailed and it's very romantic. I, I do love it to death. Um, and then the hearts are um, embroidered on, and that is just another touch. You know, I do love um, the different um, texture embellishments that they do. Um, Cause I never, I'm never fond of when a bag only has one element, like it's just an all over print. Um, not to say that I won't get a bag that only has one texture element. It just means that I prefer a bag that has many uh, elements because I am a collector and I do like the best of everything. I, I would like to see as many elements as possible. So um, I do love, you know, the, um, the print that they chose because I, I feel that this best represents the movie. Um, this is the scene where they're, you know, they're eating the spaghetti. So this is the tablecloth. So I think that it's, it's best representative of the scene. And it's romantic um, and I do love the little embellishments I think that this would have been better if they had made these the clasps because it does kind of stick out but overall it's perfect and of course it has side pockets they went with gold hardware and these cute little tassely ends again it's just another element to you know increase you know the attractiveness of the bag and of course the red continues uh, the cream and then you have the spaghetti on the back see it's the story it's carried to the back of the bag um, and I like that they did not leave the back completely plain now let's check out the the lining so as you can see um, the lining is the two of them and of course um, little white lines uh, on the red so um, it is a beautiful custom lining very attractive and then of course I'm looking to see if there's that zipper pocket inside which there is nice touch so overall they did a beautiful job on the bag and I'm very satisfied and of course our plaque is on the side red and gold very nice and the bottom is the red plaid again I like that because you know you set the bag down the red is going to protect it from you know uh, getting a scuff you're not really going to see it because again it's red but of course I also recommend protecting the bag. Very happy, which is nice because I don't have, I think I only have one Lady in the Tramp bag, so that's 
increase my leading the tramp collection next we have from the we this is i think it's march i want to say it's march it's um this is the pop harry potter bag and it's um him and hedwig uh so the only thing about the pop bags is that none of them have mouths which is always kind of creepy to me but it is super cute um and it has the print and oh, here let me take a little paper out and then of course there's um applique and there is stitching um it is actually really cute and um i i don't collect uh harry potter bags but if i did this would definitely stay in my collection um because it is extremely cute and i do love hedwig the owl he's so adorable i mean he's absolutely cute um and i do love that the print the gold is such a nice touch on the black um i, I think it breaks up you know the having the the big heads so it was definitely a nice touch and i love that they put his house colors definitely a cute touch so and that's the pocket and it's a smaller pocket for the front but you you really don't notice it because like i said they they made the details uh, so, so you know like grandiose there we go that's a really good word grandiose um and the bag is it's a little bigger i think than your regular mini here let's get the lady in the tramp back so we can kind of have a a size see just a little bit just it's like a hair just a hair bigger not too much and then of course your tag is on the side and of course it says pop so that you know that it is a pop collaboration and on the back it says harry potter straps are black gold hardware um so that it you know really goes along with the flow of all the um, gold print with the stars and the clouds um unfortunately no side pockets and then let's have a look at our lining i think it, um harry potter fans this is a good bag um, especially since a lot of the others are, are really just prints. So I think this is definitely uh, a nice addition to your collection. So inside it says Harry Potter in gold and also it says pop um, on a like a red almost burgundy um, background. And let's see if that zipper pocket is back there. And it is. So far as it does have a zipper pocket. So yeah, if you're a Harry Potter fan, I do. I think this is a good bag. Mm -hmm. There you go, Harry Potter and Hedwig. Very nice, very nice. Next up we have Stitchy Poo. So this is the Hula Stitch. <laughs> now this one, of course, it is staying in my collection. And it's funny because I know I've said a couple of times how I'm not like a, an incredible fan of the Stitch movie, um, but they have just made some really cute stitch bags and this is just yet another one. Um, I really do like it. The detail is, is just so, it is so good. They do such a good job. Um, his little hands and feet, they're applique uh, and on top of some other applique. So the, the grass skirt is, is an applique and then the, the little feet are applique on top of that. And then look, the little ears, stick out the sides there's just so much really nice detail to it I mean his little nostrils are are, still, are sewn on his eyes are um embroidered so what I really like about this bag and so many of the stitch bags is that they work so hard to uh they make it not one-dimensional and it's funny because his character in in the movies is not one-dimensional so I think it just does such a good job of keeping him true to his movie self. He's not one dimensional. So they make sure his bags are not one dimensional. And I do love that. You know, he's, he's definitely um, a three dimensional character. Now, if only they could like create like a, a tropical smell for him, that would be even better. Make him four dimensional. So um, his little leaves, you know, they are stitched onto the top. Um, and then, like I said, there's embroidery here, embroidery here, and then he has a nice embroidered smile. He just, he's really incredible to look at. Um, he does not have side pockets, um, but he does have a beautiful metal tag here. And then if you look close, you can see he even has a cute little floral charm. And I, I do love that when they go that extra mile um, to put the charm on there. 
So it's very cute. He's blue all the way around. And then let's have a look at his lining. So he has a really cute tropical lining with lots of little stitches on it. And I do, I love that. It looks really cute. So he is going to look magnificent on my wall of stitches. And I just, I do, I think it's funny how, um, even though I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying I don't like the movies. I'm saying that I'm just not, I'm not like a huge Stitch fan. Cause like I've seen these people who are like huge Stitch fans. They're like Stitch this, Stitch this, Stitch that. And I'm just like, oh goodness, back it on up. And um, that, that's just not me. But I do, I do love the bags that they have come out with, especially this year. Um, I think right now this will be my third Stitch mini backpack. That I have actually kept. Um, I have the one where he has like the arms that come out and then the one with the where he's upside down with the furry feet. So um, I just I thought this one was really cute. Um, and then of course there's one another one coming out in, uh, later in the year. I can't tell you what it is but I will also be keeping that one. I, I'm telling you this is, they're just cute this year. They're just cute. So Hula Stitch, if you don't have it, you should get it because I'm telling you, look at him, he's so cute. I just need, um, I think her universe has a dress that I'm trying to get right now when my size is back in stock to wear with it because it is, it's just really, really cute and I like the size of it and it's just really detailed because I, I do, I love, because um, even though it's a, a really blue bag, cause there's a lot of blue on the bag, I mean, there's just a lot of blue. I mean, I would have, I would have put side pockets. I would, and I definitely would have probably put something on the back. Like I maybe would have embroidered something on the back, but I mean, look, they did such a good job with all the applique here and this green. There's a lot of green. It broke up so much of the blue and the pink in the ears. I mean, it just, it got me. It's so cute. I just couldn't say no. I couldn't. I couldn't. So, um, Following up with that, I do have the Stitch purse. So, <clears throat> you know, you can't go wrong with this cross body. You know, it's not too big and it's not too small. And it just has this cute little clasp. Now, this is what I was talking about. Okay, you see how it has the magnetic clasp, okay? They followed it up with a zipper. They should have done that to the Lady in the Tramp bag because you know you don't want your stuff to fall out. So they included the extra strap. And then of course this has that beautiful tropical lining. And like I said, it's not too big and it's not too small. And look at that cute, adorable face, okay? And so you see, this is where you're gonna put your straps right here. And like I said, it's just not too big and it's not too small. And we have our, our metal tag here. And it is, it's just very cute. I really do, I like it. So as you can see, I did get the set. I, I'm, I like to complete, you know, sets. I do. So that is our stitchy bag. And then next, we have Pusheen. Pusheen. Mm. So what I like about this one, is you know i like glitter okay so um it has glitter on the rainbow now the only little bit of oddness okay i have to admit ugh, is the tail i mean it, it is cool but i mean it it, it it is a little odd so i had just kind of figure out what i'm going to do with the tail like maybe just kind of tuck it in yeah that's better i like that that's much better so tuck the tail it does move. So, and then you have the, the black there. And I like the stars. It breaks up all the, you know, the black. Because there is a lot of black. I like the feel of the, the rainbow. You can, you can feel the texture of the glitter. So, it's shiny. And then the clouds, they're like that, um, what do you call it? Um, you know that really slick material? I can't can't like the words I just can't verbalize it right now um so and then the straps in the back are rainbow and black and then there's this 
printed on the back so it's not all black now let's look at oh and that has silver hardware okay and then let's look at our lining oh that's pretty so as you can see there's um it's black with like this almost iridescent rainbow um pusheen print inside it's very pretty and then i do believe yes there is a zipper pocket inside nice i like it and this is definitely just like um a little bigger than your standard mini so just a little bit not like crazy big but definitely just a smidge bigger um, and then of course pusheen itself um is like a micro suede sort of feel to it and of course she is the pocket the front pocket and then there are no side pockets um which you know i i do love some uh, wish that they were there but they are not um, overall i do really like this bag um it is very different from um, all the other um bags that we have gotten so far this year so it's a nice change um and like i said it is different the the moving tail but being that we can tuck it like that um i do i do think that works well so very nice i can't wait to see the um, handbag and the wallet that's still to come so that's the rainbow pushing with the moving tail very nice very classy so this actually will work for an adult or uh, a teen or even a little girl very nice very nice a lot of bags a lot of bags Ooh, so we have these Krabby Patty Wallet next. Uh, man, they really do wrap these good, huh? I mean, that is good, so that it doesn't get damaged. It's just all so difficult to open. So it really does look like a Krabby Patty. See Plankton right there? And then our, uh, our tag there. And it is a zip around. We open it up. See the card holder portion here. It's a good size. No room for coins, but it is very cute. So any uh, SpongeBob fan would love it. Okay, and then oh, Dobby, we have Dobby. So this actually goes with the um, the Harry Potter and Heg Hedwig backpack. And obviously it is a pop wallet, very large. There's Dobby, um, and he is an applique on top of the um, all over gold print that is socks and stars. And it is a zip around, obviously. Remove that. And so you have your coin purse here. See, and then you can uh, put like your checkbook there or your dollars and then your credit cards go here it's a good size Dobby again there's no mouth but it definitely looks like Dobby okay so that is all of our bags and the last thing I have for you are these um, Funko Pop um, minis uh, and they are the uh, Box Lunch exclusive. It's uh, Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore. So I'm going to open them up because you know I'm going to put them on my bags. Oh, I love Eeyore. Look at him. He's so cute. He's got the saddest little eyes. Oh. So I got two of these actually. Two sets. Because I have, um, I have two Eeyore bags. The original from Box Lunch and then the new one from Box Lunch from this year. And then I have two Winnie the Pooh bags because, of course, I have um, the new Winnie the Pooh from Box Lunch plus the, oh, that's right, I put them on my new shelf, and the furry Winnie the Pooh that came out this year. So um, that is all of the bags I have for you today. Plus, we talked about our exclusives that are for the first. So, and I wish you guys all the luck and hopefully you get the ones that you want. And of course, if you don't, remember to be kind to our small shops as they are doing their best to provide the top quality bags for all of their customers. And remember, if you didn't get one, it's probably because a reseller or a bot got in your way. So be kind to one another and be kind to our shop smalls and 
Um, of course, you have, uh, if you have ideas for exclusives, um, feel free to tell all of our wonderful Shop Smalls um, and Loungefly or drop them in my comments because, you know, we have some coming up. Um, we're excited about that. Uh, see, May the 1st, guys. May the 1st. That's when our first um, exclusives come out. And you'll start seeing the hints being dropped on the 15th of April. So stay tuned. We're so excited. Um, we hope you are too. And um, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your week. And I hope that I have um, entertained you at the very least. And I hope you guys come back next time. And um, thank you for your patience, for your patronage. And um, thanks again for watching. And again, you've been sitting with Tracy Rose from World War One Games. And um, I'll see you guys next time.